All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Tuesday night live stream of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Where, of course, today we're continuing on with our medieval adventure. We're after, ha, ah, boy, still something I just don't, don't believe should have happened. Uh, we now need to sneak into the castle to save Radzig and Lady Stephanie. Which, seriously, Radzig, what the hell? He just charged in without anyone backing him up. Wh why? <laughs> I mean, I can kind of understand Lady Stephanie, you know, allowing people in because she's too kind. What I can't believe, though, is those guards letting those people in. I mean, did Divish not tell them to, hey, yo, we're off to fight. Don't let anyone in. <laughs> that seems like something you should have done. Something you should have done. But, oh well, oh well, we're going to try and save them all. I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. So we are where we left off in the last episode, and we need to go see Captain Robart when we're ready after donning our stealth gear. So let us do that real quick. Take off all these, put them dark padded things, take off anything shiny. There we go. Also, you need to go to my horse. There we are. Anything else that should go to the horse? Well, yeah, you know what? So I don't exit. No, I actually do still need you until I can buy the new red canvason. Wanted to do that off cam, but yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Definitely need to put on you, take off you, take off all of you. There we go. So that should be everything. You know what? We'll keep on the fashionable black hose since it doesn't seem to change our visibility or conspicuousness. So, yeah, there we go. We got our black hood, dark padded quaff, dark Saxon gambeson, and, of course, our quiet dark shoes. Noise. And then I'm sure we'll probably end up stabbing someone with our glorious dagger. You know what? I'm curious. Let's put away this dagger into the horse and just have the ornamental dagger and see if, when we stab someone, we stab them with something fancy. <laughs> can we actually equip it? We can't. Oh, you know what? I should test that. Can we equip... It's been so long because we've always just kept the dagger in our inventory. No, we can't equip a dagger either, so... Nifty. Fancy stabbing time. Wonderful. And sci-fi, make it happen, pacify your bloodthirsty viewers. God, yeah, you guys are really bloodthirsty tonight in chat, aren't you? Well, I mean, we're, we've got to sneak into a place. I'm sure it'll end up happening. Does this add to my conspicuousness? No, it does affect our speed, though. So, yeah, we'll take it off for now. Noise. Noise. Well, let's do this. Let's sneak into a castle. That never should have been taken in the first place. Alright, Robard, where are you at? Oh, he was in here. Where are you at? Or why are you asleep, sir? Come on! Uh, let us begin the night raid. I am prepared. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. I am. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Yes, I'm ready to go. I've done the sneaking before. I'm probably far more experienced at it than you, Robard. So, all right, let's do this. Let us find Sir Radzig and Lady Stephanie. Yay. Oh, boy, stealth mission, though. Who, who are we going Any in with? Any of you are having second thoughts. This is your last chance to speak. Hmm? Very well. Wait, hold on. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. Left hand we side. Need to free the hostages. Is that? To deprive Toth of his advantage. Uh huh. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Where would that be? That's Capon. It's Hans. What the hell? <laughs> the house on the Bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. Uh huh. Got but it. That will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood. 
Are you saying we? You ain't coming in that armor. Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Very true. Lord Capon. He it is. Quite certain you want to engage in this action. Quite. The hell did he come from? After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Ratte and back in every night. You know, fair. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Hey now, who are you calling a hothead? You do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. Why? We haven't seen him basically since the beginning of the main storyline. Why is he all of a sudden here? <laughs> Galatus, maybe he grew a pair. I mean... Maybe. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Why is... Why is he here? Oh, well. Jay, Hans is going to get the hostages killed with my luck, yeah. With my luck, yeah, that's going to be the case. Well, we'll find out here soon enough, I guess. Stealth mission, so it's probably gonna take a bit, but gotta be nice and quiet. This will oh. be something. Uh huh. Be stories about this place for years. We'll be legends. Yes, indeed, we will be legends. Uh huh. Fair enough, Hans. Fair enough. You know, I wouldn't mind people telling stories about me. It'd be great. I'll just stick with him. He can be my shield. <laughs> that seems like a very conspicuous tower. Or not tower, ladder. And take out the sentries. Wait here. Oh, why can't why can't I take out the sentries? Okay, well, bye. Hmm. And chartreuse, plot twist, Radzig is your father, but Lady Stephanie is your mother. <laughs> oh, oh god, no. Also, she's way too young. Should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Okay. I mean... Yeah, that just it seems like a very conspicuous ladder. Fuck this waiting. Yeah, yeah, and Galdus, I thought the same thing when I saw the stealth kill. <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> let's, let's not. Oh, can I not go up? Can I not go up? I oh, I I'm going to have to wait for that dude, aren't I? <sighs> Come on. Now I can use the ladder. Okay. How annoying. Scale. Yeah, I'm working on the scale the walls objective now. Thank you, game. Thank you. For nothing. Okay. And. And sci fi did a body fall down? I don't remember seeing one. There's a dead man, though. On his armor and watch this side. But there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Uh -huh. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Hey, what? Buffoon. Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. You just volunteered me, you son of... Okay, fine. Go kill some dudes. I was gonna... I just wanted to get some killing in anyways. <laughs> and sci-fi. Yeah, I don't know if one did fall or not. I did not see one. Alright, so we got that dude and that dude. Well... That's one down. Was it the fancy knife? I couldn't tell. Drop body. God, I always forget about that. And... Yeah. I think it was the fancy dagger. Maybe. I kind of looked it. It looked different from the normal dagger. Where did I just go? Uh-huh. You have to find the hostages. It'll all go a lot easier if no one sees us. Okay. Fully round the portcullis is bound to draw attention. First, we have to find the hostages. Then we can come back. I can't hear what you're saying. God, I could for a moment. But then it all went away. But okay, I'm just going to follow you. Keep sneaking, following you. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it actually was the fancy dagger. I'm pretty happy about Easy that. Now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the 11th hour. You know, fair. I'm with you on that. So should I take the lead or are you you good? Careful here. Uh-huh. All doors lead to the courtyard. I mean, yeah, it's a courtyard. It's for one man to go for a piss, and he'll see us. God, I know. It's so unfortunate. So. so. Oh, guy. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm a-waiting. I'm a-waiting. <laughs> I'll just wait for Hans to move. He's got a better view than me right now. Will he move? Gallus the Gurgling was a nice touch. I know, right? I mean, we did stab a dude in the neck. <laughs> All right, all right. We cannot stealth kill Capon, unfortunately. Dang. 
I mean, it's nighttime. I could probably stealth kill most of the people in this place if we really want to handle this that way. It could be fun. Oh god, I don't like either of those dudes walking along. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna follow Hans. He seems to know where we're going. I could watch myself. I'm pretty sure that would really go known. <laughs> Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm back here with you, buddy. Alright, I'm just gonna hide behind you. You'll take, take any arrows. Uh-huh. Well. Patience. He has to move. I mean, I can't see him, so I'm really relying on you on this one. He's definitely on the move. Should I? Jesus. Get a fucking move on, man. Dude, he is. He is. Ooh, dude up there, too. That's not great. Unless he sees someone else that's not moving? I don't even see that, man. Okay, following Hans. Maybe we should have waited for that dude to move, though, because he's probably going to turn around here any moment now. God, maybe I should murder him. <laughs> I kind of want to go murder him. But, nope, let's follow Hans. Again, he seems to know. I mean, we're going into here, aren't we? The building we always stay in. Well, he hasn't moved. Yeah, I probably should have just gone and killed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Opportunity now. You know, I'm just going in. Just going in. Not waiting for you anymore. Well, hey. Who are all of you? This actually was where we were heading. Oh, hi, villager. Other villagers. What? This is definitely where we were heading. Hans? Buddy? Uh-oh. Hans, you should probably come in here, man. Do we step in here more? I have a feeling something... Yeah, let's talk. Hi. <laughs> We're Soratsik and Lady Stephanie. Yeah, that's what we had to do. Okay. The Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Of course. Where is she being held? And where oh, is of course. I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Got it. God be with you. All right. Where's... I got a new perk point in stealth. That's good. But Hans, I really need you to come in here. You're going to get... You're going to get us caught. You're going to get us caught. Okay, I'm going to go take a look at that perk, though. He, re... He's... he seems to be stuck out there. Oh, also, did I? Oh, I did. I finally got to the 12 agility. Sweet. I can do you and you is what I want to do, yeah? Better chance of throwing dice, winning die, meh. Never mind, that really wasn't very important. Successful evasion during combat will lower your opponent's morale. Yeah, it's not bad. I rarely ever wear light armor except when we're sneaking. Yeah, I guess we will take this. I mean, we're a horrible game, got dice games, but sure, why not? Waiting on the next level for vitality, too. What's new in stealth? The only thing. The only thing. We're almost silent in the rain. Nice. We now have all the stealth skills. All of the stealth skills. <laughs> hey, Kapon. I really need you to move in here, buddy. You are out in the middle of the courtyard there. Oh, boy. Oh, cutscene. Oh, God. Why didn't you come inside? Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're I mean, we still probably anywhere. could. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere Murder nearby. Murder everyone. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? I mean... Yeah? I mean, not, like, charge him. Just go stabby stabby. Yes. We can't leave them in Toth's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, uh -huh. usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we save those other people. <sighs> nah, nah. I told you, I'm not here. leaving here without the hostages. If you're determined to be a stubborn ox, go right ahead. I suppose you might as well look for your sword while you're at it. No point leaving the job half done. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that Save sword. <laughs> speeches. Are you going to help me or not? If you want to get yourself killed, you can do it alone. Okay, before fair. Before you go raising bloody mayhem, give us time to get out of here. 
Fine. Except now we've been seen. Cutscene, of course. Gorva! Right in the ass! Fuck my ass! <laughs> Alright. Now I gotta get K Pawn out of here. Dang it. You know, it's all his fault for wanting to talk outside Look, the hell. Pony, he just ragdolled. All right, all right, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. This isn't very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who killed that man? All right. Okay. We we gotta go back up this way, don't we? Yeah, way we came in. Yep, 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 yep. And don't shake me so much. I mean, can we open up the gate while we're at it? There's fighting going on inside. We could open the gate now. Yeah, I'm getting there. This was this could we could have easily gotten this all solved, but no. They're right behind us. That is behind they really aren't. <laughs> we could have gotten up at the gate while we were at it. That was. I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. It's all your fault, Hans. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. All on <laughs> well, you. I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If you wouldn't have if stayed succeeded. out there. If pigs had wings. I know also, that guy in the background. It's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard Ishvan. Yeah, we could have done it if it wasn't for you. If you would have stayed inside rather than wanting to talk out in the open. And there was no one behind us. We could have got open the gate. God, that was that was dumb. <laughs> Story's kind of falling apart on us here. I haven't been very happy with the story ever since the night raid. Uh, it's it's oof, oof. So now we are in a siege, huh? Got it. We could have avoided it, but no, no. <laughs> they should just let me go in myself. I could have handled it. Just take more time stabbing people. It seems Robard that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. We can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmberg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. Neat! To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Fafar? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon as... Bring him to me. Let's not waste time. Where's Hanish in all this? <laughs> Gallus, agree, that was lame. Sir Divish. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a trebuchet, my lord. That's not entirely in my field of expertise. Mm -hmm. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. You but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Well, we're bound. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I. Uh... All poor, poor Tobias. Oh, well, Master Tobias, you have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed, of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. Man, we still could have turned around that. Oh, there's Hanish. How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Didn't let me change my armor? No, Dang, man. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations in the encampment. All right. Gladly, sir. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. I mean, I'm going to bring up what I brought up last time, though. You all did hear my father recognize me as the son. Can I just take over his lands, please? <laughs> I'd be better at it. I have a lot more money than him, probably. And, you know, I've actually got a village that's not burnt down. <laughs> oh, but, oh, well. So, all right. Talk to Captain Robard. All right, first, we've got to get... we got to look the part now that we're apparently going to be helping to command a siege. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And, oh yeah, this for now. 
Really wish I had the red one, though. Really wish I had the red one. No, well. Oh, I guess put our shield back on, too. God, we fired a lot of poison arrows in that... Our, with our awful shooting last time. We had over 100. Dang. <laughs> in sci-fi, how big a militia could 250,000 bring? Oh, we got more than that. We've got 100,000 back at previous limits. So... <laughs> We got more than enough cash. Oh, it's actually, you know what? I want to check something before we actually do hit things up. Because I do know that some of the, like, side content gets, like, uh, gated off if you move too far in the story, I think. And I think we may have already lost one. Because wasn't there a thing over here for something with with Hans? But I think that's gone now. I don't know for sure. I think it was down there. The only other DLC content I see right now is this one. Which I'm pretty sure was a different one. Galatas could probably recruit every peasant in the realm. Probably could. <laughs> in Chartreuse dude strategy, hire all of Toss mercenaries away from him. We probably could. Easily, I'd think. Hmm. Well, oh well, we'll continue this for now. Let's go talk to Robard. Robard, buddy. Hello. So, what should I be doing? What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. Do we? The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. All right. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere. Complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. Well, I, just, I mean, that's the moment, reasonable. They've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. <sighs> We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. Oh, the oh, yeah, yeah. Grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? Yes. I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He seemed a bit uncertain. He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. Get it. Also, sci-fi, bring the Renamoms. They'll calm the lads. <laughs> so how you doing, though, Sir Robart? How are you faring, Sir Robart? How do you think I'm faring, lad? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Yet. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. <laughs> I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. Probably and not. why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart, too. That place is my home. You know, fair, fair, fair. How do we take the place back? I mean, trebuchet. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now, and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Fair, fair, fair. The castle will be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Oh, yeah. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg, and we've left precious few men in Retai. If we're defeated here... Who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? True. And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Fair, fair, fair. How do we get past the gates, though? Is there some way we can get through the gate? I mean, I could have gotten them open last night. From the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. Stuck up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns. 
soaked in as much pitch as possible. Fair, fair, fair. Local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. All right. And which part of the wall is more vulnerable? And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north. And as for the west... From the west is where we tried it and got royally fucked, if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again. Only this time we'll do it better. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, fair. All right, well, thank you. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Really would have. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you need any help? I assume I've got to help everyone here with things. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. Yeah, you mentioned. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I do. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. Okay, fair enough. Let's Goodbye. move on. So what all do we else do we have to talk about here? And the quest log. So ask around the camp if anyone needs help. Optional. I mean, clearly we're going to do that. We're going to do everything we can to hopefully, hopefully have as best a chance at the siege as possible. So we need to talk to Master Fafar, talk to the Quartermaster, talk to Sir Divish, talk to Captain Bernard. We already did. He may need more. Charcoal burners with any pitch. Oh boy, which charcoal burner was that? Oh, burner. Oh, burn. Huh? Okay, so talk to Sir Divish is over there. Charcoal burner's there. I mean... Robart, here. Wait. Oh, Bernard. <laughs> In my head, I was confusing the two of them. I was that says, like, wait, hold on a moment. I literally just talked to the man. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just dumb. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So, okay, I've talked to him. Is Fafar here, I think, too? Yeah, there you are. Hey, buddy. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Well, I think it's more what I can do from y for you. So, and life in Rite is, well, it's not a thing for him right now. So, trebuchet. Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? You know, fair, fair. I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually... There is a way you could help. Oh? Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Got it. And who is this person? Conrad Kieser. Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. Got it. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With Sigismund, you say? He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarreled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Ah. Hmm. I don't suppose you took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. Okay, okay. And you can't do without him, huh? You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? I do. What forces are at work in the contraption? I do. If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. Very true. Very true. On about that dude. Banished, you say, huh? Banished? Like a common criminal? He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. Oh, neat. Neat. And sci-fi, you can sell him the wood from Pripyslavitz to build it. You know, we could. Makes a little bit extra money. So, yeah, what's he doing here? What's he doing here in Sasau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. Ah! No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. Fair. Fair. Are we? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna ask. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. Okay, I have permission. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. 
By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. Got it. All right, well, I will help. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. We'll do our best, again. my friend. Rocketeer is the new quest, eh? Nice. Uh, all right, all right. Boy, we've got a lot of things to handle here. <laughs> we should probably go talk to everyone first before we then head over here to the charcoal burners. So let's head down to the quarter... Wait, wasn't that Robard before? Huh? That was definitely the... That was definitely Robard before, right? Galdo's the monastery, interesting. Yeah, yeah. hopefully they don't remember me. I mean, I got a helmet on, so... Hmm. Alright. In sci-fi, they built a trebuchet on Scrap Heap Challenge. Uh, junkyard Wards of the U.S. I actually remember that episode. I remember that. God, that was so long ago. Huh. Well, let's go down there still. And horse. My friend. My one true ally in this world. Whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> Crouched. All right, we'll head over to E. Who got out of the siege camp? Oh, boy. No, oh, Jesus. All right, all right. I'm stuck a little. There we go. Nope, I'm stuck on... Oh, We're good. We're free. We're free. <laughs> yeah. All right, down to E. <laughs> and... Oh, there's two in here. There's two in here. That'll do it. That'll do it. All right, we'll talk to E first. Yo, wake up, Bernard! No. Clear off. Let me sleep. Dude! It's daytime. Wake up. Ah, oh, son of a kid. The quartermaster. Hey, quartermaster. I'm at your service, sir knight. Darn right. So... Food? What are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Yeah? Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Got it. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that in mind. All right, and what about the ale? Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone, and we've drained the local inn dry. That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. True. If you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. Purpose Limits has a, has a, has a tavern and a, and a brewery. We could bring some. Granted, they don't make much. So, all right. Well, I don't have all 200 meats, so I'll come back when I have that. Bernard's a lazy ass over there. Oh my god, we have so many icons. Oh my god, look at our compass. Oh dear lord. Also, death cookies. Here you go. I have a USS Texas. Use its 5 mark 114 inch cannons and blow up in the castle walls. No, we actually want to try to avoid blowing up the castle walls. Bernard, wake your butt up! Oh, ah! <laughs> Damn it! All right, okay, oh boy, we've got a lot of whores. I think the other one was we've got to stop by taverns to convince them to sell us things or something. Oh, Jesus, oh boy, oh, oh boy. All right, well, <laughs> so many bees. That's the charcoal burners. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we maybe start that first. Yeah. Well, no, let's go to Divish. Let's go to Divish. Get everything. I mean, I would get absolutely everything, but no. Bernard's a lazy bum. All right. Over, over this way to D. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a long siege. I mean, that's what siege, that's what sieges always are. <laughs> All right. There's the camp over there. Got it. I mean, we could use Lieutenant. 
Just, eh, man, I'm still so pissed that uh, how everything went on the night sneaking in. We easily could have taken everything, but no, Capon was an idiot who decided he wanted to have a chat in the open while we're sneaking. Idiot. Oh, I'm still so pissed about that. <laughs> Where's Divish? You better not be asleep too like Bernard. I'm going to be real pissed. Oh, no, there you are. You're a bit more pensive, I guess, staring longingly at your home. Greetings. What business have you? Jay, bees. Sorry, I had to do it. Wait, what about the bees? What about the bees? What about the bees? <laughs> hey, you feel any better, Divish? How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel awful, truth be told. And my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. Mm -hmm. Flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... Henry, can you do something for me? I'll try. What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna. But I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. Indeed. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning and dead men, and I have to confess my sins. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, God, we need a, need a freaking priest now, too. Jesus. Also, I think I saw Capon in the background, but shouldn't he be? Convalescing? Maybe I was wrong. Oh, wait. Nope, there he is. Yeah, I thought I saw him. Capon! How's it going, buddy? How you Greetings. doing? What do you need? How's the ass? <laughs> Are you wishing you stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? You must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since... I actually ever. You know, fair, fair. Really? Despite being wounded? Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements, dead to the world. <laughs> yeah. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Hey, do you want to be saved oh, or right not then. be black and blue? Next time, I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? I mean, a lot. Still, I haven't you seen you in ages. Anything for you, my lord. Take care. You know, I mean, should, do we really have to call him my lord anymore? Again... Radzig recognized us. I guess we aren't the Lord, though, and Des, Des Cookies still gonna blow too much of a hole in the wall, man. <laughs> oh, and Jacross, yes, I did update it, and this, they still aren't fixed, sadly. So I'm still waiting on those holotapes. Oh, well, and Jay, just the bees on the map, and the fact that the. Oh, oh, that's why you were going bees. Okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go up to Uz. Well, you know what? Yeah, we'll go up to Uzits first. We got two things over here. And Uzits. In sci-fi, Capon has a red hood. Will it go missing? If only. <laughs> you know, Death Cookies, the Sherman tank was probably your be your best suggestion. Use that to blow up in the gatehouse instead of, you know, breaking up the wall. That one would work. That one will do. I mean, we're going to get the pitch from the charcoal burners to burn the gate instead, but that would work. <laughs> if only we had a Sherman. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's go talk to Goodwin. Been a while. And then also talk to the, uh, the tavern and get all the ale we can. While we're... Well, actually, when we go to Sassau, I'll head back to the butchers and we'll just buy a crap load of meat again. Because apparently I've got 30. I assume it's all dried stuff. Uh, which, in fact, maybe I should just load up on a lot of dried stuff while I'm here. Because there's a... There's there's a meat market here, too. Yeah, right? A butcher's? No. No. Just two grocers. I mean, they'll still probably have some meat, but... No, nah, let's just talk to Goodwin. And we'll take care of the meat at Sasso. Off the horse! I hit the wrong button three times. <laughs> I first I hit I hit the wrong button on one side of the correct button, and then I hit the wrong button on the other side of the correct button. <laughs> I got win. 
Okay. Uh, hey, I need something from you, buddy. There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg, and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. I'd like to help, but sadly I simply can't. My own parishioners are watching me closely, and if I make just one false move, they'll have the bishop down on my back. But Sir Divish himself... If he wants me, let him come and speak to me himself. But I'm not going anywhere. It's your fault I have to live with a sword dangling over my head, Hal. Hey, what? Don't Bye. think I've forgotten it. I never forced you to do anything. And just because I didn't help you out, you're denying God's forgiveness to innocent strangers. When did I not help How him out? How dare you? Do you think I'd stoop to such pettiness? My reasons are honorable. When did I not help all him right, out? All right, I understand. I was successful, so Abraham. it round on them? Why don't you say you'll go to Talmberg because it's the right thing to do and your Christian duty? Even though nice you might one. be shot in the process. Like that saint. Sebastian. That might help, I suppose. Tell me the truth. Is the air really thick with arrows? It is a siege. But all the camps are well out of range, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Well, see how the martyr the mangle works and then I'll go. At least getting out of here for a while will give me a break from all those judgmental looks. To forgive is human, damn it. True, true. Or is it to err that's human? Well, I'll both. never remember. Fair. Well, but my, seriously, when did I, when did I not help him? Watch over you. When, I, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right, and sci-fi, get charcoal from the burners, get sulfur from the alchemist types, then make some gunpowder. I mean, would love to, heck yeah. And Des Cookies, you think the rod from God I concept would work? I'd be way too much, I would annihilate the whole castle. We need ale from Talberg. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talberg. I'm a few kegs short myself. And once I run out, my regulars will go elsewhere. The hell's they gonna go? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I'll well, that's... I still have a bee there. I still have a bee. Can I just buy kegs from him? Good luck to you. I mean, he also does have bacon. We can buy the bacon. I'm gonna buy the bacon. Uh, did we just buy beer? I mean, we could buy a lot of other meat here, but no, if, if it's not cured, it's gonna... It's just gonna go bad before we get there. Smoked sausage work. So do we... Hmm. Yeah, we could buy beer. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna buy this for now. Naggle! Can we and yep, click, click. I'm on uh, 135. Since it's you. Calm down. Just a little. <sighs> of course, you want more. There we go. 140. All right, so. Tim can use Tom's thermonuclear bomb. Again! Way too powerful. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. We still got an icon in this one, which is going to be real annoying because I'll never remember who I should talk to. Or who I have talked to before. Ask around the local taverns for some. And he was a no-go. Alright, well on to the next one then. Since he's a no-go. Pop. And... Alright. Down to here. We're also right up to the charcoal burners from this one too. Are we good? No, oh, come on, come, come on. There we go. God, yeah. Because of the other B, I could. It was hard to click the fast travel thing. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Let's move. Yeah, a little disappointed about him not having anything, but I'm still confused. When did I not help Godwin? I, I don't know, but hey, he still accepted the thing, so we're good. But yeah, I'm confused. We, we did. He was not happy with us. Hmm. Oh, well, not my problem. He accepted, so we're good. And... Tavern. You know, I'm actually kind of disappointed there's not a B on our tavern in previous Levitz. I'm surprised they didn't take that into account. Hmm. And death cookies. No, that's still way, also way too powerful. <laughs> we're trying to take the castle without destroying it. No Moabs. <laughs> Hey, Andrew, long time no see. God be with you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, I need... Do we need a dead keeper in purpose of it? 
Yeah, well, let's, we'll take care of that later. Uh, hey, what do you think of the raid on Talmberg? We weren't able to ask other people that. What do you think about Talmberg being attacked? What do I think? That as long as decent people can live in peace, <laughs> I can talk my way out of paying taxes. <laughs> I don't care who my liege lord is. You know, Well, fair. this new lord never forgets a man who fails to pay him a single groschen. Too true. And the poor probably go straight to the gallows for it. That's terrible news. It is. Especially for us. Poor folk. I hope you'll drive him out of here so fast he'll shit himself. Would be nice. Or hang him from the tallest tower of tree. Would also People be nice. usually shit themselves when that happens, too. Very true. All to the good. A nice bit of manure and everything blossoms. <laughs> hey, you know, you could help us because we need ale. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could, but there's nothing in it for me. Uh, no, I'm not going to threaten him. We're on good terms. Plus, I can win with this anyways. You're supposed to pay your tax in ale, aren't you? <laughs> Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdek was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, mm -hmm. one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. Very true. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. When you put it like that, I have got a few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd always spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Too true. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it's time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shits came courtesy of the beer. <laughs> I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? Very true, very true. Well, thank you for everything, my friend. All right, we got one success. We still have a lot of bees out there still, even though it did say to talk to the quartermaster. But, oh well. Let's go get that uh, pitch. And Galdus, this is probably because your tavern's really weak drink. I know, I'm still pissed about how pathetic our beer is in Primus Levitz. <laughs> so you know what? Understandable the army wouldn't want our crappy, crappy beer. God, it's just so awful. All right, you know, cut through the woods here. And I'm glad we got one tavern to go along with so far. I mean, we've only checked two, so 50% success rate. Yay. Good thing we had some, uh, had a rapport with that Andrew fella. Oh boy, is this a cliff up here? Is this a cliff? Is this a cliff? Am I about to die? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Nope. Made it. Alright, yeah, our old charcoal burner friends over here. They should be able to provide me with some pitch. We'll be good. Alright. God save you, Henry! Yo, what up? Long time God no see. You health. How may I help you? Well, any pitch? I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? The siege. Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it. And if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. Excellent, good man. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free. Or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. So, I mean, he didn't. We he gave us the option, but we couldn't actually choose. So, well, we got a lot to tell the quartermaster later. Sweet. All right, on to the next village for stuff for beer. Ladechko. Let's roll. And sci-fi. It's hard enough to find. It's hard to find enough, but releasing a swarm of rabid butterflies would clear the ramparts. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Gattles, you'd have to ta pay your lord to take that ale. God, yeah, we really do make crappy ale in our village. I'm still so mad about that. 
In Chartreuse, yes, you still can call a beer that weak beer. In fact, you can still call it a beer even if it's less than a percent. So long as it has alcohol and is made with water, hops, and malted grain, yeah. They're generally referred to as small beers, though, once you get around the 1% range, but still, yeah. And sci-fi, the bees still showing for the meat. Nah, the bees are for the the bees are for the um for the beer. Because it's it's on all the taverns. So let us You know, I should check in the horse. How much meat do we have in the horse? I'm sure I've got some some uh dried stuff in here. Yeah, look at that. We got we got that, we got that. It's only nine, but hey, still, it's it's stuff. Sweet. 62 of the 200. Noise. Yeah. Alright, on to this owner. Oh boy, also serious lag just then. Hello, innkeeper! God be with you. Hey, yeah, you too, blah blah blah. So, Tomberg, kegs. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Tomberg. I don't have anything that would last the journey there. And I certainly don't want to swing for poisoning anyone. Well, dang. Is it only going to be from the one tavern? Is that it? Is that the only one we're going to get? <laughs> That's right now. That seems like it's going to be the case. Oh, also, hold on. What time is it? Because my character is tired right now. Yeah, we still got time. We still got time. So our only other B is this one over here. God, that's going to be a long journey. Oh, well. Do it! And does cookies... Can we use the largest... Three? No, no, we can't use that either. What have I told you, man? Keep Talonberg alive. And intact. <laughs> and Beastie Bunny, I believe very weak beer is called What's the Point? <laughs> uh, and Galdus, that's flavored water. I mean, yeah, kind of. That's why a lot of beer back in ye olden times was that, because <laughs> flavoring is what they wanted. They'd basically make it with, like, the leftover grains after making the good beer that then make a lot of really weak small beer. Because it was just, you know, cheap and you could sell it to pretty much anyone at any time of day. Good times. So, to this tavern, and then down to Sasa where we'll end the evening at the inn there. I think that'll be good. So we are just about at the hour mark anyways. All right, off we go. You know, did I ever buy a, a bed in this inn? I don't think I did. Yo, innkeeper! God grant you health. How may I help you? Okay, first things first. I guess I can't buy a bed here. Never mind. I need kegs. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talmberg. I'm sorry about that. Yep, none of them. I don't have any to spare. Andrew was the only I one. I can hold out a while with what I have, but I'll be running short myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, Andrew was the only one. Why are all the bees still here? That oh yeah, I could have still traded and bought more meat. Should have done that at the other place, but I forgot to. But oh well, here we go. By that, any sausages? Yeah, by all you. Nice. And haggle. Can we do something about the price? Mm -hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. This. I got it. Okay, and yeah, we'll head down to Sasal. We got ninety of two hundred. That'll be fine. So yeah, we still got enough time. We'll get into the Sasal and uh, talk to the physician real quick. Let's head out there, and then we'll end it there. I'll sleep at the inn here. And then next time, we'll look for this uh, engineer slash doctor dude. And then roll from there. We've pretty much got everything else we need, more or less. So gotta, oh yeah, I gotta buy all that meat too from the butcher here. He's got plenty though, so that shouldn't be a problem. We'll be fine. Granted, we could also go kill all those sheep in the field near here. <laughs> Just get a lot of mutton, take them over real quick. That could be a thing. A bite to eat. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to that soon, my friend slash me. We got things to handle though first. Hey, none of you remember a Gregor, do you? You're not you're not gonna mind me in here, right? 
Hey, Nicodemus, long time no see, buddy. And Jay apparently is its priest. Father Goodwin had a quest called Playing with the Devil. Maybe that's what you missed. Oh, yeah, you guys did say I missed that a while back. Hey, you know what? First. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Keyser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? Old oh, buzzard? Never mind. What do I care? <laughs> it's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. Oh, sweet, thanks. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> hey, I need your help. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. Indeed. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Talmberg. The ships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Too true, Nicodemus. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Talmberg. I appreciate that, old Thank friend. You, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. You're the one person in this monastery, you know, a part of the... A part of the actual monastery. I like the rest are kind of dicks. <laughs> All right, and with that, that is going to be it for this one today. We found out where the Kaiser guy is. So, uh, yeah, next episode, we'll buy the remaining meat that we need and then grab him, hopefully convince him to go with us without issue. And, yeah, head back to the siege camps and turn in all of these things, because, boy, howdy, we got, we've got we done a lot. We've done a lot. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, we'll have a good one.